This is the second of a three game series between the Reds and the Cubs. The Cubs won yesterday, 6 3. Here's a good shot off the bat of Ernie Banks, deep to left field. have had little to cheer and after Ernie Banks the National League's most valuable player for an unprecedented second straight season hits one out things look dark indeed. Banks boomed 45 home runs and his near flawless fielding created a new record for senior circuit shortstops are those who turn out just to see Ernie Bingo Banks. Banks is a two time winner of the National League's most valuable player award. The Slender Slugger also won 1960's Major League Home Run Race with 41. The hot and cold Cubs move into Milwaukee featuring Ernie Banks who succeeded Henry Aaron as the National League's most valuable player. Ernie's 47 home runs established a Major League record for shortstops. This is the second of a three game series between the Reds and the Cubs. The Cubs won yesterday 6-3. Here's a good shot off the bat of Ernie Banks, deep to left field. A long double off the left field screen to put Banks in scoring position and set off a National League rally. Three and one with Leo DeRocher, the Cub manager. Studying the situation. Long drive, left field. Going, going, going. Familiar sight to Chicago fans, Ernie Banks hitting a home run. He now needs 16 more to reach 500 for a career. That's a well-hit ball, deep to left. Back, back, back. Hey, hey, hey. Get up, boy, Ernie. Mr. Cut. The 2-2 pitch to Banks. A line shot up the middle in the center field. Billy Williams rounds third, and he will score easily. And Ernie Banks has driven in Billy Williams on Billy Williams' day. And the Cubs have a lead of one to nothing. There's a high fly, deep to left. Miller and Wynn are both back, back, back. Hey, hey! It's a home run for Banks. Get a boy, Ernie. Wonderful old man, I love you. Here's Ernie. That's it. That's way back there. Back.
The wind is not a big factor. It's out of the southeast at seven miles an hour. Jarvis fires away. That's a fly ball deep to left. Back, back. That's it. That's it. Hey, hey. He did it. Ernie Banks got number 500. A line drive shot into the seats and left. The ball tossed in the bullpen. Everybody on your feet. This is it. Whee! Ernie Banks off Pat Jarvis, May 12th, 1970. Second inning against the Atlanta Braves. There's the ball. Willie Smith got the ball from Cardi. It bounced in and out of the seats. There's the presentation to Banks. play on it waist high good line drive shot here it is going into those seats in slow motion made it just over the wall bounced in and out and here is one of the great moments in baseball history in the United States of America and particularly in Chicago. Ernie, congratulations. Thank you very much, Jack. It was a tremendous thrill. That handsome fellow over there, Lloyd Pettit, has got a, a word or two to say nice to you. Nice going, Ernie. A great thrill for you, but just imagine what a wonderful thrill it all for is it all for uh, all of us in the press. Now Thank we have you very much. Uh, we have several fellows here. We have Joe Mushel from Associated Press, Dick Dozier from the Chicago Tribune. We have Bill Leggett from Sports Illustrated. This handsome fellow is Chuck Chamberlain from AP. This is Edgar Munzel of the Chicago Sun Times, and there's James Enright of Chicago Today. And uh, just because we're all so tickled with you and we've been following you so long, uh, I just figured it might uh, be fun for the newspaper men to come in here, even though they're going to get you later. They may want to ask you a couple of questions right now. So as far as we're concerned, you're holding a press conference, buddy. <laughs> well, uh, it's very good, Jack. It's a great thrill, and uh, I don't know uh, what I would say except thanks to all the Chicago fans and all the players who helped me a great deal, my mother and father, and uh, to me it was a tremendous thrill, but uh, it takes a lot of people to help you to get uh, such a milestone. Well, we might as well take a look at that home run on uh, rerun here. We've got the set right here, fellas. Just watch this monitor right here, and we'll set the scene. Second inning. Turn our attention Thanks. to Cooperstown, New York, where 10,000 people came to witness the inductions of six new members to the Hall of Fame. Three have passed away. Amos Rusi, Martin DeHigo, and John Henry. And the man who brightened every day at Wrigley Field, Mr. Sunshine Ernie Banks. As Commissioner Bowie Kuhn put it, he joins a very elite group of Hall of Famers who made it the very first time they were eligible for election. I would like to present to you Ernie Banks. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for the fine introduction. We got the set in. Sunshine, fresh air. We got the team behind us. So let's play too. Congratulations, Ernie, and congratulations to all in the Baseball Hall of Fame.